Welcome to a special edition of The Other Side. Today I have as a guest, Jeremy Zalaka, the Assistant AD for Athletics Communications at Lenore Rhine University, all the way in Hickory, North Carolina, their Division II school and the first Division II school that uh, we picked up as a partner with Blinder. Uh, Jeremy, how is remote life going? How's everything been under uh, under the isolation and, and how are, how's work getting along? Well, the office kind of is ever ever changing. Uh, my wife and I both work from home. We both have two, you know, there's two little kids in the house, two dogs running around. So uh, right now I'm in the home office, but sometimes the, uh, you know, the wife gets to the home office and I'm out in the kitchen or on the patio or in the dining room, you know, wherever we can find some, some time and some quiet, <laughs> quiet space every once in a while to, to try and knock out some work is, is where we end up. So. Yeah, I hear that. I've always got a uh, dog or a two-year-old running around in the background, and you might see them come through in one time or another. When you and I first started talking last December about what you were motivated to do at Lenore Ryan, you had some very specific ideas about how we could help you create some valuable content. I'm curious how that onboarding has gone. Have you met expectations? Have you exceeded expectations? And then what's next for you guys? The first one was the hardest because you have the concept in your in your head and the idea of how it's going to look, but you can't show someone how it's going to look until you do the first one. And uh, the the very first one we did was our, our baseball coach um, who won his first game here, and it happened to be his 200th win of his career. And he was on the road, so it, it ended up being really cool, and it was something that he was really interested in. It was something that I kind of talked to him about ahead of time, and he was like, yeah, I'm all for that. Um, just let me know you know, how you want to do it. And they, were, they went away for a whole weekend, so we just waited till he got back to the hotel and, and just shot it in his hotel room while he was on one end, I was on the other, and it came out – you know, kind of better than I was imagining, which is kind of, it's always good when you hit, when you hit it better than, than you think you're going to. Um, but like we talked about when, when we first started this project, this is something that I've been thinking about for a while. And, and how do we make this happen? How do we, how do we figure this out when, when we're not, when they're not in the confines of our own arenas and fields and how do we still cover those teams and make sure those stories get told um, and kind of like this 2020 age, you know, of, you know, video conference, FaceTime, talking. Um, so we saw your stuff and I was just like, that's that's it right there. That's exactly what we're looking for. That's exactly what I wanted it to, to look like. And and then from there, it just kind of evolved. You know, the more we used it, the, the more comfortable we got with it. The, the workflow got a little easier and, and the production end of it got a little bit easier. And, and then we kind of branched off into some different um, – Project. So it started with just kind of like an interview after a game, um, which was, you know, kind of my idea to start with. And then, you know, when this uh, the COVID hit, we, we had to kind of, you know, go go a different direction. Um, but it's been so valuable because we're still able to do projects and talk to people face to face and, and do some cool stuff, um, even though we're not around our student athletes and our coaches and and all those types of people that, that we're trying to, to tell the story of. So uh, we've been able to do a, a play of the day, we call it. So it's kind of a, a important play in, in our season. And um, Allison Luthman does an awesome job with our video content. So, you know, she's got all of our plays lined up and we're able to just get a player where we show them the clip. They kind of talk us through what made it important or noteworthy and um, as they're talking we play the clip and it, it kind of came out pretty cool and, and we're happy with it and you know we got some more projects kind of lined up going forward that is a, you know just kind of a, another way to, to tell the story a little bit. Ooh, can we get a sneak peek of that? I'd love to hear more about it. You guys have been pretty innovative and, and your execution's been really nice. I think you guys could give like ESPN and Turter a run for their money on some of these things like play of the day. <laughs> well I don't know about that one but um what we actually have lined up next is kind of a cool concept. We were trying to figure out, you know, how the, the seniors season ended, uh, you know, kind of abruptly. And um, we're just trying to figure out a way that we can kind of tell that story. And we're actually going to have uh, a, an interview with our head coach and a, and a senior. So they're just going to kind of talk to each other. We're kind of removed from the situation. We're going to let them kind of chit chat about their season and their memories and what made the, the year special, what made that career special you know, why they came to Lenore Ryan and what their favorite memories and, and that kind of stuff. So um, just 
coming up with different ways to kind of to kind of you know tell that tell that narrative yeah i'd say one of the stories i was really impressed with that i came across was um kyle duggar and i i saw your video and you're interviewing Kyle. Kyle's on his hotel bed in Indianapolis a couple of days before the draft combine. And I kind of stopped and went, oh, wait, there's no way they're they're doing this without something special about to happen. So I kind of made sure I paid attention. But so tell me about what your thoughts were leading up to that that topic and, and getting Kyle on the phone and, and talking with him. And obviously he was he was made a big splash in a draft, especially from my D2 school, having a second division school, get a bunch of attention. What was it like before and after for you guys? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're pretty fortunate. We have some pretty cool stories that we can tell. And Kyle being one of the main ones, and I'd be lying if I didn't if I told you that he wasn't number one on my list when I was talking about this project of, you know, he was out training out in, in the West coast in California and getting ready for the draft. And I was like, man, we just need to, we need to figure out a way to make this work so we can talk to him and he can kind of talk to our fans and our people and just kind of update like, Hey, he met Dan Marino, you know, what was that like? And tell us the combine. Like these are things that, you watch on a yearly basis, right? And you're always just like watching it from your point of view. But what's it like being there and competing in those things and running at the combine and, and working out in front of scouts and meeting people from the NFL from all different teams? So um, we have a, a player that's in spring training in spring training with the Atlanta Braves. Uh, we're trying to track him down. You know, obviously this is it's it's kind of changed a little bit. We had a, a plan to do it. Uh, you know, at, at the spring training complex, which would have been really cool. Um, we have a guy that's right on the outer fringes of the UFC. Um, so trying to just kind of track that down when, when that story comes out and, and, you know, let him be able to tell us, you know, what, what that's all about and what's that like to, to kind of join the, uh, the upper echelon of the fighting community. So uh, we're fortunate to have those kind of, those kind of stories on top of just the day to day, you know, so-and-so scores, 27 points in the first half you know those just kind of quick hitting interviews but we also have some cool feature stuff that uh you know that we can kind of pump out a little bit too i i, I had a thought we had a a player suffer a, a a tough injury at the end of the season and i was thinking about you know maybe is that something that we kind of follow them through their rehab you know um do they talk us through you know what it was like trying to because you you just see a person get hurt and then you see them come back and play but you don't necessarily see the grind that they have to go through on a day-to-day basis for an extended period of time to to get back to that you know spot that they were before so I mean there's no shortage of ideas right out there everybody has ideas it's it's just executing them and and making sure that that you're doing it well and, and telling the story right right I mean execution is is the big differentiator in what we do and and a lot of people right now are having to prove their value and and be relevant and essential amongst their their peers in their industry. And uh, I think one of the really cool things you guys have done is um, figured out a little bit of the revenue generation piece, at least temporarily, as you've branded a lot of your content, um, and the sponsored elements and and the advertisers you've had. Tell me about the steps that went to making sure uh, a logo appeared on the videos and, and what you guys plan to do with that. Yeah, we have we have an unbelievable marketing and corporate sponsorship team um, that does a great job selling our brand and kind of partnering us with the, the local community and, and even bigger uh, projects of that nature. But um, this one just kind of came up where. You know, there's 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 um, some of our great sponsors are, are kind of struggling right now. And, and anything that we can do to help them, um, we're, we're going to try and, and do it because, uh, you know, we realize this is a tough time for them, just like it is for us. Um, so this was just something that it was I, I we had that spot um, and I just I pitched it out there and I said, hey, is there is there a company that we can just throw on here to to kind of, you know, raise that awareness for them and, and help them out. And um, our sponsorship team came back and, and said, you know, custom design group is, is somebody that's been around us for a long time. Um, they provide all the clothing and, and outfit us in, in our gear and our jerseys and that kind of stuff. So um, anything we could do to help them, you know, we were willing to do. So we, we put their, their logo on there and, and we've been shooting out that play of the day has, has been presented by, uh, you know, the custom design group and, 
and the senior interviews will have some different uh, sponsorship elements in it to, uh, to kind of, you know, help out our, our sponsors at, at this time. Well, I didn't even realize that that's pretty cool that you guys are being pretty altruistic with the sponsorship elements and, and I'm sure they'll have some long-term dividends and rewards at the end. Uh, Jeremy, thanks for jumping on the call with me. Always great to talk to you and uh, hope we have a long-standing relationship. Maybe you come out to New Zealand soon sometime. That sounds awesome. Thanks so much right. for having me.